Okay, so the glue up is finished from last night and uh, pretty happy with the way it came out. Going to need to clean up a little bit on the inside of uh, the throat there and I'll need to flush off the dowels. Then really the only two remaining steps are to take a block of wood and to turn it into a wedge and I'm going to make a through pin here um, which I'm using aluminium. Uh, I guess you could use a, a thicker dowel or any kind of metal that you've got on hand. In the books that I've read, they generally advise that these dowels will deform the wedge after a bit. So one of the things I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it to length and then I'm going to flatten along the side here just a little bit, just to give it a little bit of extra purchase where it butts up against the wedge. The wedge itself, not complicated. You really just want um, something that fits nicely over the iron. Um, use a relatively low angle. I've heard 10 degrees and, and, and lower. Um, 10 looks a little bit uh, sharp. To me so I'm going to just eyeball something that I think is a, a nice long wedge uh, you want it to be roughly the size of the iron and to give good support all the way along so those are the next steps um, I'll be back once we got some progress okay so we've uh, been working for just uh, just around 50 minutes just under an hour uh, what I've done so far is um, I've flattened the aluminum here you can see just to give it a little bit of a profile from the side I think that's going to help keep the wedge in place um, I've measured this one side I haven't done the other side yet I'll do a final tune up once the wedge is in place I then took uh, uh, this wedge uh, marked a angle line on it um, took that off planed it and then I've chiseled out a bit of a detail here I actually quite like the idea of having something just on the front here where you can uh, Use a, use a hammer to remove it from the plane when you're busy with it. So that's what I've done on the wedge. And now we're really off to drill the holes. So you can see what I did there is I put the iron inside of the plane with the wedge on top of it. I've marked that line. So essentially just popping that in, popping that in, um, and then rough marking the line. And then what I've done is I've gone um, and taken that line. Remember you need to offset by half of the um, the pin. So you'll see over here, this is the side where I've done it. I just marked a, um, a 90 degree line up from where I wanted to put the dowel in and I've offset it from that baseline uh, by half of the size of my dowel. So now I'm ready to, to draw the dowels. Uh, a good tip that I picked up from the, the English woodworker, Richard Maguire, is putting that off-cut wedge that you had from the beginning. We can put that in um, and we can use that to make sure that when we drill through now we don't uh, um, get a lot of uh, blowout on the back side of the drill marks. So I'm going to drill those uh, uh, drill holes now and then we're going to see where we where we end up. Pretty excited at this point. I've gone ahead and fitted the wedge. Um, one thing I will point out that I hadn't thought of beforehand is I said to leave half of the dowel here. Uh, but because we flattened the side on the, the one side, that, that rod is actually thinner in the middle. So try and take that into account when you're adjusting. Um, if you didn't, like I did, not too serious. You'll see I had to trim a little bit off the, the wedge, and our wedge has been shortened by about a finger from where I had it originally. Um, I think that's one of the advantages of making this wedge, just a little bit oversized. Um, also at this point, I took it for a bit of a test run. You'll see that it's jamming up over there because we obviously have to create some clearance. The other thing you'll notice is over here there's a bit of a gap on this side and uh, that doesn't surprise me. When I plane this over here you can see there that that side is a little bit higher. So I'm going to take the wedge out now, do a few adjustments to it, see if we can just tune this up a little bit. Okay, so just did a bit of work on shaping the chisel here. You can see what I did is I just uh, tapered off the end there um, and then sawed in two lines um, and now I'm going to chisel out the waste in between. That will leave a bit of clearance so that your shavings can clear as, the, as they come in. Um, it's quite a good idea to profile that, um, just imagining how the chip will come and try and deflect those towards the middle and up and out of the plane of the throat. Okay, so I finished shaping up the wedge. Um, the only advice that I can give uh, on this is, well I guess it's basically the the normal chisel rule. Try and figure out what size uh, piece you want to break off. Take half of that and just take your time, just work through it slowly. It's a really silly time to uh, mess up now if you uh, if you break a piece off or you try and do something too aggressively and, and something else breaks. I'll show you a picture of the, the basic plane in action now, but let's just come across here. 
uh, you can see I'm getting about a one and a half mil shaving and that's just under uh, one sixteenth of an inch that's six one hundredths of an inch um, yeah just under one sixteenth and for me that's uh, fantastic to be taking uh, shavings like that with a scrub blade and that's certainly in the ballpark of what I've hoped for um, this blade hasn't been tuned um, so you know I'm really happy with how this is performing <laughs> And here we have the final plane. It took me uh, just under four hours to make it and then a further hour to just refine some of the edges and finish it all off. Uh, one thing you'll notice, this aluminium pin is still uh, um, floating loosely and I'd really suggest you do that because uh, if you're going to plane the side um, you can move it to the one side, move it to the other side and uh, do what you need to do there. So all I need to do now is to put in some final epoxy and I'm going to call this build done at about uh, five hours. So I definitely think uh, all in this uh, three part build is a real win. I think the Krenov uh, style with the pin through there is a, is a great addition. I guess if you're a purist, you know, the, the look on the side here of the, of the dowels might be a little bit disconcerting. Um, but I certainly think it was worth it in terms of the, the build. So if you're doing a, a first time build, I'd suggest you go for this kind of method. Uh, makes the alignment a lot easier. Um, go for the Kranoff build with the, the pin rather than the abutments. Makes it a lot easier. Um, and in five hours and uh, or there or thereabouts, you could have your own scrub plane. Um, hope you enjoy. Cheers. Mm -hmm.